Good morning, happy Wednesday. We have a sunrise brewing here. It's about 5 a.m. Oh my love, stop trying to please other people and become something that you're not just so that somebody will like you, someone will pay attention to you. Be who you're, be who you are, be your authentic self. Be comfortable in your own skin so that your true inner light shines. That's when you're going to attract the people that you're supposed to attract. That's when you're going to have the people in your life that you need to have in your life. When you're happy, when you're content, and when you're being yourself, not when you're trying to be someone you're not. I see a lot of people, different ages, all different ages, they will meet someone and then they will try to change themselves to fit into this person's lifestyle. They will try to make themselves into someone they're not so that this person will like them. They will pay attention to them. No. Just be you. Just be your beautiful, wonderful self. If they like you, great. If they don't, they weren't supposed to be in your life in the first place. Bottom line. We also have, and I'm gonna, I'm, using a word I don't like to use. There are also people out there that will start seeing you get involved with you. People you even work with, people in your family. And they're gonna try and change you. They're going to try and groom you. I do not use the word groom lightly. I don't like that word. It has very negative connotations in my world because they're trying to make you into something you're not to fit into their plans. Well, maybe your plans aren't their plans. Maybe what they want for you isn't what you want for you. For kids in high school and college, that's very, very difficult because, hey, I'm a parent, been there when my son was that age. And for years, he, had, he really thought he was going to go down a certain career path. And then he found golf and he went to college on a golf scholarship. And that was wonderful. You know, I didn't try and change him. That's who he was. That's great. Allow people to be who they are. Stop trying to groom them and make them who you want them to be, who you feel they need to be. Accept people for who they are. Love people for who they are. Honey, love yourself for who you are because you're a beautiful soul just as you are. Now, if you want additional education, go for it. Absolutely, positively go back to school. I have, gosh, I have my degree, of course. And on top of my degree, I have 12 different board certifications. Because if I'm going to use a modality, a technique on somebody, I wanna know what I'm doing. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to get the training. I'm going to get the certification for that. You know, I'm not just gonna watch a YouTube video because you're worthy of that certification. You're worthy of doing it the right way, not taking the shortcuts, do it the right way. If you want a different job, you're not happy in your career, you think, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Get the training if you don't have it. Maybe you can do an apprenticeship, ask, start looking into it, do it. Look into it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Find out if it's your passion, I want you to do it. Absolutely, I want you to be who you feel you need to be. I want you to do it for you. I don't want you to do it for somebody else. I don't want you to do it. I see this so often. Kids will go to college. They'll go to mom and dad's alma mater. That's fine if that's okay with you, that's fine because a good education is a good education. That's fine. And then the parents will say, I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a lawyer. I want you to be an engineer. I want you to be a teacher. Well, good, that's nice. I'm glad that's what you want, but I want X, Y, Z. I went through this myself. Now this was a long time ago. This was back in the 70s, so life was different. My dad, God bless him, beautiful man, great guy, he thought, I needed to be a wife and a mom. That's it. You get married out of high school, you have babies. That's it. Now, my mom totally disagreed with that. No, you don't ever want children. You want to be, 
a professional woman, you know, go into business. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to be a nurse. I've been a healer my entire life. I've been healing people since I was three. I'm a healer. I'm gonna probably follow that path and I became a nurse. And then in, I wanna say that I had just graduated. I wanna say 1980, the physician assistant program started in the area I lived. I was excited. People were talking to me about this. You have the brains, you have the talent, do it. You've got to do this. And I went to my parents because that's who I bounce things off of. And they said, that's stupid. No. Fine, you're a nurse, marry a nice doctor, have babies. And it was just, uh, no. I did not go into the PA program. I should have. In hindsight, I probably should have gone to medical school. I didn't but I was one hell of a nurse back in the day. I do not regret that, and I still heal people to this day. I have my healing practice, doing Reiki, healing touch, and of course, this, trauma therapy. I heal with words. I am a healer. Did not fit into their boxes at all. They were not happy about it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I did what I did. I know people that went into professions that their parents picked. They're not really happy. I mean, they're good at what they do. They're brilliant at what they do. They're not happy with what they do. I don't want that from you. I want you to live your passion. I want you to wake up every day and say, I can't wait to do what I do today. I mean, every day I wake up and yes, it's five in the morning. I really am in this kind of good mood. It's disgusting because I get to help somebody today. I'm not gonna try and manage their life. I give you the tools to manage your own life. I'm here for backup. I love what I do. And if I help one person, one person, it's been a damn good day. I want that for you. I want you to be that fired up. I don't want you to do something because somebody's telling you to do it because they're telling you they feel you can be better. Fine, maybe you can be. Maybe you do deserve a better life than what you're living. And if that's what you want, do it. But maybe you're content right where you are for right now. I want you to live your life for you. Don't let somebody groom you into someone you're not. Don't let somebody pressure you into doing things and being things that you're not. It's not worth it because you're not gonna be happy. And I had a young man, been two or three weeks ago on social media, send me a note and said that I was being ridiculous, that the only thing that mattered in life was money. What a shallow young man. Money comes and money goes. You can lose every cent. If you lose your entire fortune, you are wiped out and it happens to people every day. I had cancer. When I had cancer, I, it took everything. It wiped out my 401k. You have to start over. It's devastating, but you gotta do it. And, and it's okay, because I had my health and it was worth it. But for people that are so focused on it's all about money, they have some hard life, left, hard life lessons to live. They're gonna live them. They're probably gonna repeat them a few times. They're not gonna learn the life lesson the first go around. That's on them. It's not about money. It's about living your passion, being happy and being your authentic self. Honey, that's what I wish for you. Just be you, be happy because you're worthy. You are so worthy of this. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about.